Hello, bonjour, guten tag, and salam alaikum. Good day to you, trader. This is Mario from Forex Other Way. The universal clock might sound as a magic to you, but it has nothing to do with any magic. It's ticking harmoniously, so it can also be easily applied in your trading. In today's video, I'm going to show you that you can predict tops and bottoms of most swings using the universal clock. If you stay with me to the end of this video, your trading will never be the same again. So let's start the rock and roll. You have probably already known that a full lunar cycle lasts about 29 days, more exactly 29 and a half day. This is what we observe from the Earth and we call it synodic cycle. But there is another cycle of the Moon. If you observe the Moon from the space, its full cycle is shorter. We call it sidereal cycle and it lasts a little bit shorter. I mean it's 27.3 days. This is a time the Moon needs to make a full cycle around the Earth. So the sidereal cycle of the Moon is 27.3 days. So this is our starting point. I've got in front of me a daily chart of EURUSD where I marked some random tops and bottoms here on this chart and I've entered these tops and bottoms uh, onto the Excel sheet. So here are the dates entered. If you add a particular number of lunar cycles to these dates, you might be deeply surprised what results you can get. As you see here on this chart, the projected results, the simple projection made based on the universal clock, or more precisely based on lunar cycles, the cycles of the moon, gives results beyond the expectations. It's just amazing what you can get from that. I personally use this method as an additional confirmation or as an additional filter to my projections. I do projections of the price into time based on this square of nine, the methodology which consists in some mathematical formulas some calculations which allow me to calculate exactly most of future tops and bottoms based on current price or based on the range of the price, the range between the recent tops and bottoms. I teach this method on my private tutorial online sessions via Skype. If you want to know more about my private training sessions, please send me an email to the address shown below this video in the description section. So getting back to the subject on this sheet I've got in the upper row over here, the days of tops and bottoms marked on the, uh, on the previous sheet over here, marked on the chart um, you've seen before. So this is the chart. And the second row of these dates projected, there are dates projected simply, uh, it's a simple linear projection. The projection results you might see over here, I marked them already on my chart. So the projection results look like that. So the dates I calculated, uh, the previous tops and bottoms here, which started somewhere in 2019, 7 of March is the first one, the 2nd of February, 2nd of April is the second one, and so on, just random tops and bottoms. I projected into the future and these are the results. So projected the first date I got a local top here and the second date a local top here. The third date I got a local bottom here. By, by mistake it was uh, actually the recent low of EURUSD which happened uh, during last couple of uh, several months at least or a couple of years. So here's the next one, the beginning of this uptrend, the beginning of correction, the beginning of this uh, upswing, and here another upswing. Here is the end of this downswing, and here is the local correction. Here's a local correction, another downswing, 
So the, at the moment, this is the projection. As I told you, I use this simple method as an additional filter to my calculations of future tops and bottoms based on the square of nine. So this is not my principal tool. And I would advise you to use it in the same way. But if you ask, what is this magic number from the universal clock? What is this number of lunar cycles here? This is nothing but 10 lunar sidereal cycles or an interval of time of 273 days. So 270 days, this is a magic number, my friend. But it's not magic 100%. It's been taken from the universal clock. So in this way, every 273 days, the pattern repeats. You might check it on your chart, you might check it on your instruments, and you will see that the market reacts to this number. As you see over here on my chart, the results are really encouraging, and you can introduce as well this tool straight into your trading toolbox. So, I wish you all the best in your trading. I hope you found some value in this video. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you the next time. Keep on rocking and bye-bye.